hello everyone in this video i will show you how to write a function which will return a value in octave uh, so in order to return a value in octave there is no no return statement uh, if you remember in c language when we write a function whenever we want to return any value we can use a return keyword but this is not the case in octave so if you want to return a value from the function what you have to do uh, you need to use a variable so uh, let me write a function for you uh, let's say we want to create a function to calculate factorial so this function will take one argument and it will calculate the factorial and it will return that factorial back to the caller so uh, simply that function will look like uh, fact and then there will be a body and then there will be a end function so uh, if we are writing a function like this one it means this function is not returning any value but in case we want some value to be returned from this function what we need to write we need to write here a name of a variable like uh, result equal it means this factorial uh, will store its returned value in this variable result so uh, while calling this function uh, we will use this syntax we will write a variable name and here we will write the function so let me complete this function for you then i will explain it in detail so let's first write a factorial function without any argument without any return value sorry so here i will take a variable to store result i will initialize the value it by 1 and then i will use while loop i will run this loop uh, until this condition is true and inside this loop i will multiply value of result to n and then i will decrease the value of n by 1 here i will close the while loop and so uh, this is a simple while loop what we have done we have taken one condition when uh, this loop will continue uh, Exec uh, continue executing till this condition is true so whatever value we will specify here it will use that value and it will calculate the factorial that factorial will be stored in this value result and let's say here we will print this result factorial percentage t fs r e s u l t and here I will close the function so let's call this function fact5 so it has printed that factorial as 120 if we call this function for let's say 10 so this is the factorial now uh, in this function this function is without returning any value so in case if you want to write a function which will return a value so what changes we have to do we have to use a name of a variable like this one so here uh, it's showing that we uh, will define a function and in this function whatever value this function wants to return that value will be assigned to this variable simply so we will write value from here as it is we will assign this variable one we will use the simple condition which we have used in the previous example result equal to result multiply n then we will decrease the value of n here we will close the while loop so now here we don't need to print any value because now we are returning value and 
So, so what is the idea behind returning a value? Whatever variable name we are using here, we will use the same variable name inside the function to store the returned value. Whatever value we want to return. So we want to return the value of result and that value we are already storing in this variable. So okay, this one is done. Now let's say I want to store factorial of 5 in variable a. So now what this uh, statement will do? This factorial fun fact function will be called and here now at the place of result we are using a. So a will be used in the function. So if you can see the value of a is 120. So here uh, in the similar way you can write any function which can return a value. So whenever you want to return a value uh, use a syntax like this one and whatever value you want to return inside the function assign that value to this variable so uh, and uh, remember this thing return key word cannot be used in function to return a value the only way to return a value you have to use a variable and inside the function assign return value to this variable thank you very much for watching